Oh man, I didn't know Wendy was Italian. Ah, right, what's good, Smack Pack? We are back at Wendy's because the red-headed stepchild, she came through. It turns out she's part Italian because she came out with the Italian mozzarella lineup of sandwiches. They got burgers, which honestly doesn't really scream Italian, but you can get it if you want for $6, single, double, or triple, or crispy, spicy, or grilled as far as the Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich goes. Sounding pretty fire. Now, obviously, when I think of Italian, I think of some chicken parm or something like that. So I got the grilled chicken variation. Bam. $7. Better be good. Better be good. I don't smell anything. So hopefully, hopefully. So let's see what we got. Mm. No napkins. Funny, the girl at the drive-thru window was like, have a great day. She must have had a real big laugh about it right after I pulled off. Man, all right, well, let's see what we got. Got it right here. Sticky sticker. Got it right here. All right, all right, you know, chicken sandwich size. You know, Wendy's chicken sandwich is actually pretty good, so we'll see what we got here. Pop this thing open. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, look at, oh, man, I'm loving that bun action. Look at that bun. Man, this actually looks pretty good. Huh. Pull this thing up. Oh! This garlic knot bun, though. Oh, man. It smells Italian. Look at this thing. Look at that bun. Garlic knots up top. But, as I said, got the grilled chicken variation. You can get it spicy or regular crispy. Inside this fluffy garlic not bun that's so oh, so garlicky underneath oh look at oh no i popped it oh no oh no hold up hold up hold up just look at that all this marinara sauce on top of this big big disc right here of mozzarella deep fried now looking at that mozzarella deep fried reminds me of the Curter burger from culver's which is pretty good although that's a lot of cheese so we'll see what we got here it's a lot of cheese look at that though crispity crunchity then we got more cheese <laughs> They got more cheese. They got Asiago cheese on here. And then the grilled chicken patty, which always looks good. And man, I don't know. That looks like a lot of cheese, but let's see what we got. Does this remind you of Italy? I'm gonna find out. Oddly enough, it's kind of dry. Not sure why it's so dry. We got a good amount of marinara sauce on here, but that was a dry bite. Now the cheese, I was hoping the mozzarella would be a bit poolier, but you know, maybe it's not as hot. I mean, it's warm. I mean, okay, that one wasn't as dry. It is kind of dry though. Maybe they should put marinara sauce on the bottom too. I'm not sure. But dryness aside, the flavor profile is on point. Tastes straight up out of Italy. If Italy had a sandwich, and you're like, hey, you want to get a taste of Italy? And you give them this? Pretty good. Now, as far as this garlic knot bun goes, very good flavor. It tastes like garlic, amazing. I love garlic knots, but it's not as fluffy. So it's, I think that's mainly why this is so dry. The bun, look, look at this, it's not, like, I don't know what happened. They, they needed to toast it or something. It looks kind of toasted a little bit. Now, there's some color on it, but it's just, it's not as fluffy as I would like. Like, you know when you have garlic knots, they're all fluffy and poppy and you put it in your mouth, and you're like, oh, it melts. This is kind of dense. Okay, yeah. You know what? 
decent cheese pull. I'm not sure if this is pure mozzarella though. It's not as pooly as I would expect from a giant chunk of mozzarella. So I think it might be a mix. I mean, it tastes fine. I mean, it tastes like mozzarella, but not as pulley. Well, to be fair, some people don't like pulley. Mm. Now that aside, <laughs> it still does taste like Italy. It's almost as if, you know, even though there's no parm on here, you know, it's close. Got a garlic chicken parm sandwich right here. Yeah, that's it. It's the bun throwing me off here. I don't know. This bun just doesn't seem fresh. Like it's really dry, pretty dense. Like it's been sitting out on the counter all day and they're like, oh, finally someone ordered this thing. <laughs> Throw it up there. Man. Like if you know sandwiches, you know the bread can ruin the whole thing or make it better. This one is kind of taken away. Now the chicken, on point. Mozzarella, whether it's 100% or not, tastes good. Marinara, good. Garlic flavor, good. We just need more fluffiness, a little fresher of a, of a bun. This tastes like a two day old bun. Something I just noticed. If you remember how I mentioned, it looks like a lot of cheese. Like, you know, Culver's had the Curter Burger. Carl's Jr. had the, the big freaking cheese or whatever that was. I, when I ate those, I felt like it was a lot of cheese. With this, I'm not really noticing it. I can taste it, but it's not like, oh my God, my mouth's full of cheese. Not sure how they did that. I think it might be a little thinner. I mean, Carl's Jr.'s, I think, was huge. I think Culver's actually pretty thick too. Now, this one, they got the right ratio of cheese so you taste a lot of cheese but you don't feel a lot of cheese you're like man too much cheese yeah the bun that i was excited about pretty disappointing The best way I can describe this bun, yeah, it's really dry. If you've ever been to Olive Garden, which is sorta kinda Italian, and you got the breadsticks, and they weren't hot, fresh out of the oven, and you ate that thing, and you're biting into it, and you're like, oh man, this is really dense and dry, and I feel like I'm gonna die. Kinda what this bun feels like, although it tastes garlic, and actually kinda tastes better than Olive Garden. Oh man, okay, okay.
not a bad sandwich overall. Not a bad sandwich. Just that bun. On a scale of one to 10, Wendy's all new Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich. I gotta say, it did at least slap. Now, the flavor profile on point. Tastes good. Garlicky, mozzarella y, asiago y, chicken y, marinara y, marinara ni ni, marinara ni ni. Yeah, you had all the flavors you want in an Italian chicken sandwich. The only problem here, other than, you know, the mozzarella wasn't as pulley, the bun. The bun was exciting. I, I was like, oh, garlic, not bun? Garlic, not bun? I was picturing this amazingly fluffy garlic butter bun. It tasted like garlic, not so much like butter, and it was dense, cold, dry, and it took away from the sandwich. I'm hoping that's not the norm. I'm hoping this was just happened to be an old bun that was, just, I don't know, they didn't close the, I don't know where they keep their buns. Do they keep them in bags? Do they keep them in a bread box? What do they do? Whatever it was, it was exposed to the air too long, dried out. Took away from the whole sandwich. Now for $7, they, that shouldn't be happening. But the flavor was good. It's just, it was dry, it made the whole sandwich dry. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. So hopefully that's not the case with yours. If you guys tried it for yourself, I don't know if your bun was dry and Tastes like it's been sitting out for two days, or if yours was soft, fluffy, buttery, garlicky. Oh, because that would be on point. Other than that, though, very good sandwich. Tasted good. Tasted Italian. And I liked it. Just got to fix that bun, Wendy. What you doing?